everybody welcome to another vlog so today we are leaving to toronto i'm currently on break from work we're about to go to the vet we're gonna take flasha her name is callie but attila calls her flasha we don't know why f-l-a-s-h-a -A. so that's her name now so even at the vet that's her name so we're taking her to the vet because she has an ear infection the inside of her ears is like brown and at first i was like i've seen this before in um rin who is my brother's cat he was like our family cat but like he's my brother's cat because my brother moved away and he took the cat with him but it was like my brother's cat so rin had that in his ears but when i googled it they're like it could be mites and i was like this lady has been sleeping in my house so i'm like i need to book a vet appointment as soon as possible so i did she's go she, she's gonna go to the same vet as momo um it's just that for her ear infection they were like oh we have a cancellation or else it would have been like in two weeks they're like, oh, we have a cancellation. I called Wednesday and they're like, we have a cancellation. Friday, do you want to come? I know I'm working from home Friday, but I'm getting, I have to go to the vet. And they're like, okay, cool. So uh, the th good thing about my job is like, as long as your job is done, they're not like, they don't micromanage you, which I really, really like. Um, I'm wearing, I started vacuuming and you guys know ADHD. I started doing another task while doing this task. But here's today's outfit. Um, I'm just wearing the Aspen tracksuit from Fashion Nova. It kind of shrunk a little because like I have long legs. So I'm not tall. A lot of you guys think I am a tall gal. I'm really not. I'm 5'4 and a half, but I'm 5'4. And um, yeah, so that's my outfit. I wear this tracksuit all the time because it doesn't have a hood. It's my only tracksuit that doesn't have a hood, fits properly, and that looks like put together. I gave all of the other ones away because they were just a bit childish. So I wanna, hopefully in Toronto, I can find something like this. Um, I really like the garage tracksuits, but they're too short for me. No matter what size I get, they're just not long enough. So I need to find, a, even the Aritzia, the tall sweatpants, they're always out of stock. So clearly people want longer pants. Um, and I also wear Uggs a lot. So my Uggs always sit on top, my Uggs. My pants always have to sit on top of my Uggs. But if they look like high waters, it just looks tacky and weird. So this is today's outfit. I really like the whole like um, embroidered Sherpa Aspen look with the gold jewelry. I just really like this. My hair wasn't like this. I was like working so i tied my hair um so yeah, today's fragrance is this i wore this this is my husband thanks babe <laughs> it it's kind of messed up because 97 percent of these are mine this is his 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 but i still manage because it's vanilla and you guys know how much i love vanilla so anyways we're gonna get this girl ready um babe bought me coffee this morning from second cup my main issue right now with it's really dark in the apartment my only issue with um boycotting the mermaid coffee company is that they had that i miss is that they had great customer service and drive through and second cup lacks in both like their coffees are great but they always have like one staff member working or two and there's like three in my area so like there's always like one or two staff members they don't have drive through and like you're always waiting in line for like years on end and i'm like bro now that like the mermaid brand is out and all of the customers from the mermaid coffee are coming to you guys second cup if you're watching this video which i highly doubt you guys need to step up your game like step your game up please i'm literally begging you guys like change locations create a drive through i don't care like you guys are getting like they're so packed now like they're so full now compared to before like before you say oh, i get coffee from second cup people are like why don't you just go to the mermaid and i was like i do but second cup is that girl as well so oh yeah welcome to another vlog it's attila's birthday weekend he's starting three and we're taking him to the toronto aquarium so we were supposed to go on vacation but we just got back from mexico like a month ago and i ain't no travel influencer okay like i'm a family life i have a family life i have stuff to do i have a job so i can't just be going up and leave we wanted to go on an actual trip like out of the country but we just got back from mexico from our, our honeymoon i was gonna say wedding moon from our honeymoon and then we might go back on a trip for my birthday in june so i'm like relax you know like relax um i usually travel once a year but i'm out here traveling twice a year and that's crazy like to me i don't do that so yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not that type of if, if you follow if you follow me think i'm gonna be traveling every day of my life like i'm really not that type of content creator i'm a very normal person um anyways i need to get dressed because i know it's my vet is close but i want to get there earlier come on baby come on baby girl Ugh. Baby, hey Flashy. 
na siya. Hi. Are you scared? Oh, it's it. Yeah. Oh, sa sa tuya. She's so intrigued with the door. Russia, you have an ear. You have mites. You dirty girl. You have mites in your ears. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get some because yeah, we're having at the front if you don't want to go to another place. Oh, you feel it a bit, eh? Sorry, Captain, I'm in here. Oh, baby. Yeah, I thought they oh, you're doing so good. Who's oh, a good girl? <laughs> Look at you. It's because I didn't pinch hard. <laughs> so she called it a bit. Oh, baby. Like, what's this? She thinks it's yummy. Put it close to your. This will be a little bit oily, just so you know. It's okay. A couple days. All right, guys, I am officially. I'm like turning around because I'm looking for the best lighting, but I'm officially done work. I just got a notification. Yeah, so I have to wrap Attila's gift. I just realized that I did not have time to wrap his gift this week, so I'm gonna go get it and show you guys what I got him. So, little man is obsessed with monster trucks, but specifically monster jam monster trucks so it's not just any he's very particular about the ones he likes um he knows their names and stuff which is so crazy to me so i was planning on ordering it on the monster jam uh website but we found i i went to walmart and they were there and guys they had this massive section for monster jam i did i did these thing these Trucks are like celebrities for children. I didn't know that. So this pack has a uh, Toro Loco. I got the small ones because he already has a big remote control monster truck that my mom got him for Christmas. And like, I don't want a thousand gigantic mon monster trucks in my house, you know? Like he has one that he likes, he plays with it. That's good. So I got him these. They're called the Monster Jam Versus packs. So it's Toro Loco versus Grave Digger. But this is like the old Grave Digger, not the the one that we see all the time. So Toro Loco is one of his favorites. Then there's um Zombie versus W. I don't know who W is, but he's blue. But Attila only cares about Zombie. Then I got him this pack. He's gonna love both. He loves Megalodon. I can't really say that in um, English. I always say it in French. So there's Megalodon and there's uh, Grave Digger. This is the Grave Digger that he likes. Then I got him um, this one's another. I don't know who this one is, but there's Max D. He loves Max D. And then there's Son of a Digger. There's, I didn't, like, his name didn't make sense to me. Son of a Digger. He doesn't care for that one that much because I haven't seen this one ever on TV. But he loves Maxi. And then there's Dragon. But Dragon came by himself. He loves Dragon as well. So, he got all of those. Um, they're going to go in this box. I'm going to wrap this box. Then I went to t-shirt time i made him this sweatshirt to wear so i bought this sweatshirt on amazon and i put um i got the guy to put an a max d grave digger and toro loco and i it's gonna love it the only thing is i think it's really light like the pictures like the way it's printed it's not very like it's okay whatever it is what it is it's cute so it's all gonna go in that one box and we're gonna wrap it he's gonna absolutely love this like that's he's obsessed with these guys guys we've been watching these monster truck rallies for the past like two weeks yeah they all fit and we're just gonna wrap and put this sweater on top and wrap all of that for my little boy okay so i found this 
um, paper. I think it's really on theme. It says happy birthday everywhere with like stars. I think it's very loud, like monster trucks are. So I'm happy I have that. Hopefully it's, I have enough for this box. He did get a lot of toys for Christmas, but we didn't know he was that obsessed with monster jam. So we weren't gonna get him toys for his birthday, but we're like, you know what, screw it. Our baby likes it, does what he likes. We're gonna get him. just got done super cute i'm a bit disappointed because like the paper is really cheap you guys know i like especially for christmas i like spending a good buck on my wrapping papers because they're just better quality and they're they're just nicer but this is dollar store it looks nice but it does not feel it just feels really cheap um there's like tape in the corners here because it ripped and like this never happens with my better you know paper but you know some people don't care about that i care about that so yeah anyways everything fit in the box um this is so on you know theme i just feel like it's just it's you're just missing a couple monster trucks you know but it's just so loud and like boyish and like birthday i don't know so yeah that's what i got him um i'm almost done with packing my bag i'm bringing a carry-on because this weather is like i just don't know like i just never know ever i never know um it's i brought my fendi handbag the one i got for christmas and I, this is my makeup i'm doing my makeup because we're taking attila to the aquarium and we're going shopping and we're doing a bunch of stuff so this is my skincare body care but mind you guys i pay for the i pay i bring this stuff for jimmy and i so this is my current slugging face mask thing i have really dry skin so i have to bring this and i don't have a travel version of this so i'm bringing it i put it in a ziploc bag with my shower cap not that it fits on top of my braids and here are my facial wipes to take off my makeup and my makeup brushes because they didn't fit in here because i have a full size of the charlotte tilbury setting spray and a full size of my ysl foundation and just full sizes because i do have some smaller like travel sizes but most of the stuff is full size in here um then in this i have my outfit for saturday and sunday and i have a backup outfit over here and I have some socks, my PJs, my bonnet. My satin bonnet is somewhere under, it's here. And I have a backup outfit if it's super cold. So I'm not sure. So yeah, my bag is made. I have toothbrushes in here as well. Um, I'm bringing a backup book, a heart for Valentine's Day because I'm almost done with a soul to touch. I think I'm gonna be able to finish it on my way there in the car. I charged my reading light. Cause it's gonna be dark when we leave so yeah so i have that and i brought this book in case i finish my book because i need a book to read on my way back and valentine's day is on theme because valentine's day is like in two weeks not even so i brought that i also did my nails that are like a valentine's day theme these are off-white with gold hearts from empress anyways so far everything is packed i just need to pack attila's bag which is gonna be pretty quick because he's wearing pjs tonight to leave he needs an outfit for saturday and a backup outfit in case you know he dirties himself and then uh, an outfit for sunday to leave so that's pretty easy his diaper bag is always made um with wipes and diapers and stuff it's always always done because i have this paranoia of like what if something happens his bag needs to be done so i have that's already done um, I would like to film a reading wrap-up for January So I'm gonna fix myself up and do that and do his bag. I already pulled out his clothes for the trip We're bringing these because he's gonna travel with these and he's gonna wear his shadow ones We pulled them out today. They fit him finally. They're gray and black. They're Jordan ones high that he's gonna bring as well We're gonna bring for him. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how I like to pack his clothes. It's really simple, but I think it's pretty efficient. Oh, and his PJs are Black Panther pajamas. 
he is going to have a pair of PJs on him in the car as well. So two pairs of PJs. Also in here, I love these. I got these from Amazon when he was born. I brought these to the hospital. I brought some to the hospital, but they're great for like separating stuff. So um, they're great. They're like they're packing cubes for traveling. Um, he's currently size, I think he's a size in his diapers, 3T and 4T. Already, it's, it's always packed. So he has literally enough diapers for like five days. And we're only going there for like almost two days. So, and he doesn't use diapers as much as he used to. We're potty training him. So he doesn't go, he doesn't get diapers dirty as much as usual. There's a pack of wipes. There's a shower gel. So I'm going to fill it up with his current. He also has some shampoo. Johnson & Johnson shampoo, Vaseline. There's a bunch of stuff in his diaper bag. Um, so yeah, so I basically grab a pair of socks, grab the t-shirt, I put the pair of socks in the t-shirt, then I fold both sides of the t-shirt. Like, so I usually do this on the flat surface, but I'm showing you guys how I do it. And I fold like so, right? And then I grab the pants and I fold it on top of the t-shirt. I put the t-shirt and socks in the middle and then I grab the sweatshirt or the shirt whatever and I put the pants. Oh it's so dark I don't like this. I'm gonna put you guys elsewhere. You guys over here because it's too dark over there. Okay so I put the pants in the center of the shirt and then I fold one side of the sweatshirt and fold down the sleeves. Same thing with the other side and fold down the sleeves. I only do this with his stuff because I know this is an outfit. I'm gonna fold from the bottom because I wanna hide the sweatpants. This, like so, is an outfit. So I'm gonna grab a packing cube and the outfit is gonna go in there. And then I just do the same thing with the other outfits. And this just basically prevents you from like, where are the socks? Where are the pants that match this outfit? Where da 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 da? Did I forget something? Da 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 da. You won't have to do all any of that because everything is basically rolled together. I like the hoods because you can like fold the the outfit into the hood. And yeah. And then you just put it in the packing cube. Boom. My brother just left. I tied my hair because packing with all of this hair was becoming a bit too much guys this bag was the best investment mommy wise i remember when i got this bag i got so many comments like it's stupid getting a diaper bag this expensive first off i did not get a leather diaper bag the one from gucci is beautiful but it's not flexible and imagine if you dirty it you're not gonna put gucci in your in your washing machine i put this in the washing machine more times than i can count i absolutely love this bag this is moshino or most it's Machino. It's not Machino. It's Machino baby and it cost me about $500 and it's the best baby wise Like I don't feel like I need another diaper bag for the next baby. That's what I like. That's how I feel So I'm gonna put the clothes at the bottom mind you I'm not gonna be taking all of this to the aquarium or like with me during the day because I don't need to carry all that stuff I'm done with his bag. I'm done with my bag. I think we're good. I need to go pick him up soon though. So Yeah, his gift his bag. This is gonna be the snack bag, but he also has his lunchbox that has snacks in it. That's gonna go in here. There are snacks for us as well. I bought these really nice um, chamoy candy. I found watermelon rings and peach rings, so we're gonna take these with us. It's gonna go in the t-shirt time bag because I don't feel like getting another bag for that. His lunchbox is going in there, and I'm gonna go pick up more snacks on my way to pick them up to add in here as well. Okay. It's correct. Tu veux pas quoi? C'est correct. Ça c'est standing on business. Gun market. Good morning, everybody. He's doing his toddler thing. Things toddler do, toddlers do. It's. What time is it? Nine thirty-four. We are at Jimmy's parents' house. They live in Toronto. <laughs> he woke. He woke up standing on business. Clearly. Tu veux câlin? Tu des câlins? Oui. Mais c'est pas comme ça tu demandes des câlins. Oh, non, ah, tu dis maman, je veux câlins s'il te plaît. Oh, 
<laughs> guys, we're all sharing one room. But guys, Jimmy, Jimmy is in the bathroom. What's new? Last night, Jimmy is in the toilet. All the time, men. Pascal, toi aussi. Le pété de Pascal. Okay, he's grumpy. I'll see you guys later. Guys, no, but moi c'est soit no makeup ou c'est makeup. Je suis pas capable de faire. Guys, I was gonna put on makeup because I I'm gonna do it. I brought it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put on my makeup because I brought the thing, so might as well. But I don't feel like putting on makeup. And also, I want to try out this primer. So, okay, guys, two new products in my makeup. I have the Essence Fix It. Fix it, fix and last makeup gripping jelly primer. This reminds me of the milk, it's supposed to be like a dupe. And I also have these hi, baby. I have these Finding Nemo um, lip oils that I found at Marshall's, and they're just like cute. They have two there's like a pink one in my car, and then there's this like orangey one. You guys can't really see my face because the camera's too low, but they just feel like lip glosses. They really don't feel oily. Cute, eh? Anyways, this is some of the new stuff that I have. Okay, you guys can see me like this. So I'm gonna quickly do my maquillage. Leave me out the comments, leave me out the nonsense, speaking out of context. People need some content, niggas trying to keep up. Shit is not a contest, whipping bands concept, heaven sent, God sent. This is what my mom says, proof is in the progress, money's not an object. Busy than a motherfucker, you know how my job get. Parking up the wrong tree, you know how the dogs get. Haven't fallen off yet. Come with a classic, they come around years later and say it's a sleeper. The ears are real, the petty is real. I just write it for a feature. Deposit the money. Friend of Leticia, or Linda Felicia. She gave for me twice, I didn't even know her once. You know I'm a pleaser. 42 millimeter, was made in Geneva. Yeah, I probably should go to Yeshiva. We went to Ibiza. Yeah, I probably should go late with Yeezy. I knew me some Jesus. As soon as I started confessing my sins, he wouldn't believe us. Sins, I got sins on my mind and some M's. I'm ready. guys this was super fun um it was so dark in there though so filming was kind of hard and since it was the weekend it was super hard to get footage without putting any strangers in the video because you could still see their faces even if it was dark but attila did have quite a blast us as well what i liked about the aquarium by the way this is the ripley's i don't know aquarium of canada something like that um it's like one of the biggest aquariums in the world and it was amazing us adults had fun we were four four or five adults and one toddler and we had just as much fun as him it was really pretty really colorful if i'm being honest the ocean freaks me out i do love water but once you get there in, in there deep i just it freaks me out so being able to be this close to aquatic creatures was amazing i've been there before in a past vlog like a long time ago but this was really pretty and really nice and spending time with my friends and family it was it was just such an amazing experience attila had so much fun with us and his favorite part was meeting spider-man was a spider-man right outside and he absolutely loved it Guys, it's a lot later. My camera is dying. I do have another battery, but we'll see. Today was a great day, a successful day. We actually went shopping to Yorkdale Mall, but there were so many people. I didn't buy anything. I did. I bought a little because I was like, I didn't. We went to Sephora because I really wanted to go to Sephora because there are so many brands that 
uh, so far as in Toronto have that we don't have and I was so overwhelmed and overstimulated that I just left I was just like I can't I, I can't I can't I physically can't be in this Sephora all the stores felt that way so I just didn't really enjoy being at the mall uh, we did get Popeyes before for going to the aquarium because we don't have Popeyes back home we wanted Chick-fil-a but it was downtown we weren't really downtown and then tomorrow morning for lunch we want to get a seafood boil because we don't really have those in Montreal anymore so it's kind of like there's so many rules and regulations to in Quebec that just literally just ruins everything for us so um, I did buy a couple things if I can find them I'm gonna show you guys I know the lighting not only the lighting but the actual like oh my god I'm trying to put you guys somewhere it's so hard to find somewhere decent to put you guys Okay, so you guys won't see me, I guess. My best friend, Attila's godmother, got him these Nike Dunks for his birthday because I didn't want to get him toys. So she got him the matching Nike Dunks that I have. She has, Bay has, we all have them. So she got those. I got two body mists. Not that I needed them, but we don't have the body shop in Montreal anymore. I got the Shea and the Coconut body mist because they were having a buy two get 20% off so I really like their body mist like they're great for every day and they have such a like natural scent to them where like you could wear these people are just gonna naturally think that this is your normal body scent you know so I really like these so that's all I got I didn't get anything else Anyways, um, I'm gonna get my makeup off. Also, in my stories today, I did a whole like review on this primer and I really like it. Yeah, this primer is really, really, really good. Like I really like it. I think I paid like $7 for it. So you guys are getting something. Is it an exact dupe? Like it doesn't, <laughs> it feels gripping. It feels tacky. It feels hydrating. Is it the exact same as the milk makeup? I should compare them side by side but it's not like I feel like it's not but is it very comparable if you want to save some coin definitely the elf one as well love all three of them so yeah I'm gonna take this makeup off shower and I'll see you guys tomorrow I have to put Attila to bed as well guys we just made it to Captain's Boyle um, like I mentioned yesterday we don't really have the greatest seafood boils in Montreal for some reason like it's just not a thing uh, we did have Captain's Boil for a while and it was our spot to go to for me and Jimmy but they closed down and now they're minimum two hours away the, the sun is awful so we just made it really excited because I'm starving I didn't eat anything this morning it's currently 12 o'clock hi Nenen hi Captain's Boil and birthday boy It's Monday. We got back yesterday from Toronto around, I would say, what time? Like 7? Like 7-ish. And honestly, the trip was great. So if you were thinking of going to the Ripley's Aquarium, you should go. I think it's definitely worth the trip. Attila had a great time. He had a great time with his grandparents as well. Um, he doesn't see them often because they do live all the way in toronto so we had everybody had a great time like everybody ate saturday night our friends got bottles and they played uno and got lit and i read my book and went to bed because if i don't need to drink like i'm not go not need but like if i there's no reason for me to drink i won't drink um you know they did their thing and then i just went to bed and read my book because i knew that like doing the road like taking the road hungover with a toddler would have been a pain in the bum for me so i was like i'm not gonna drink yeah anyways it's monday i went to work actually i didn't go to work wearing this i just got changed i was wearing like jeans a cute top like my booty my boots my heel boots i looked really good at work but um it's cold and i didn't feel like staying like that 
But Attila spent the day with my mom because she took a week off uh, for his birthday so she can spend time with him. Um, she also took a week off in case we went on vacation, but we did not intend to go. She doesn't mind. It's like her yearly paid vacation, you know, like it's a part of like her work deal, whatever. And yeah, we're about to go to their house because I picked up some balloons that my mom ordered and we're going to open the gift that you guys saw me wrap because there wasn't any more space in the car. So we didn't bring the gift because we knew that today we were going to, you know, celebrate his birthday with my parents at their house. So uh, we're about to leave. Yeah, we're about to leave. I just need to pick up pajamas for him because we're going to give him his bath over there. <laughs> um, I lost a nail. You guys want to know how? I fell on the ice while leaving work. My knees hurt. My palms hurt. There's like a little, like I kind of ripped my skin. It hurts. I fell. Um, I'll see you guys when we get there. I just posted content. I just, I went to work. So my day was like not entertaining. Guys, we made it to my parents' house and look at the little table arrangement. So here's a gift you guys saw me wrap. This is from my parents. Um, these are his. And we just decided to put them on the table for him. And the balloons are Spider-Man. There's a star. There's like the racing flag. And there's a monster truck. So there's like all of his favorite things. He's so happy. You want to say hi? Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say I had a good day. Had a good day. Mm-hmm. Yeah? What's that? It's balloon. Balloon. Yeah, it's balloon. I'll take more. After. We're gonna eat? Huh? You're gonna eat? No, I'll play. I'll play? <laughs> on va manger? No. Oui. No. On va manger, puis après, on va ouvrir des cadeaux. Et après, on va prendre des ballons. Yeah. Des ballons. Oui. Ok, on dit à tantôt. Bye. Bye. Le côté. My mom made lasagna. Fried plantains and chicken. Yuffie. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Spider Man. Daniel <laughs> Zuri. C'est qui ça? Spider-Man! Il comprend pas! Calais, tu veux caler mamie? Oui. Il sait pas quoi faire! This is so funny! Calais, Spider-Man! He's starstruck! Spider-Man, il faut aller dans la maison, mais. Il est là! Il est Il sait, il sait! <laughs> ouais. Ah, tu sais qui Spider-Man? C'est qui? C'est qui ça? Il est Starstruck. C'est Bye Bye Spider. <rire> Bonne fête à ti. Bonne fête à ti. Bonne fête, bonne fête, bonne fête à ti. Let's open it. What's in here? It's mustard. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, what? 
Who's this? It's a zombie. Zombie. Who's this? It's Grandmother. Great. And this? It's Shag. Yeah. Open it. Yeah, we're gonna open it. We're open it. We're gonna open it. Uh, What's this? It's a Max D. Yeah, Max D. Who's this? It's the dragon. The dragon. And who's that? It's a Luluku. Oh, Luluku. But what do you do with this? Okay. Do you know what to do with this? What's yeah. this? You do it. Yeah. Uh, spin. Spin. Yeah, it's spin. Spin and? Honk. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Look. Spider-Man spin. Yeah. Playing games. 